dinner coming up. Oh, there's a deep red right there. Or it could be a short. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the new. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> Another beautiful, beautiful day. Warm day. Still gonna kind of have my fall gear on. Um, I'm gonna take my time today. Uh, I'm going. I got my. If you look, if you look at the front, I got my tripod, binoculars, batteries, uh, external charger, or power pack. Okay, so I am going to go slash scouting slash bird watching. So it's going to be an all day event. Originally, my youngest wanted me to uh, wanted me to go to Baskin Robbins with her, and I'm like, uh, mm, nah, not feeling it today. I got some grass in my tire here. I'm gonna fix that. Oh, it's in my chain ring. Oh. There we go. Oh, that was fixed. Oh, I got my boots on. Or neoprene boots. So, because I'm going off roading, uh, that's the plan. All right, let's get out of here. All right. Oh. All right. Uh. All right. Whew. On a side note, uh, the election is over, and nobody knows who. Who won yet? They're still counting. Very suspicious on the count, in my opinion. Very suspicious. But uh, we'll let the if there's any uh, if there's any dispute, we'll just have to let the courts decide what's going to happen. Anyways. are sounding good not squeaking a lot that's good I adjusted the brakes so I'm going uh, I think I'm gonna go towards like the sports park area because I want to do some bird watching it's the middle of the day it's probably in the 80s sounds like the front brakes are squeaking now Rear brakes actually don't make any sound. Awesome. I adjusted the brakes. Ooh. Ugh. Okay. So I'm gonna go off roading. I'm gonna. Oh, oh, that was a little bumpy. I am going to. Uh, Take that little shortcut-ish road. All right, I'm good. All right. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to uh, Ride my bike while it's still pretty warm, or warm enough. It's lovely, actually. No humidity. Riding in the uh, open air feels very pleasant. Not very humid and hot. So, one of the things I will be doing is, uh, I'll be going off-road and so that's why I'm wearing the boots today but I'm not gonna go too deep into the forest it's gonna be a long ride anyways the uh, my daughter wanted me to 
go to Baskin Robbins on the bicycle with, with her. They don't eat. Seating is unavailable inside Baskin Robbins, so we'd have to be outside. I didn't really feel like going to Baskin Robbins, riding the bike with her today. I actually wanted to go out with my tripod binoculars and actually most of the day or whatever daylight is left. Whatever daylight is left, I want to spend that time just uh, going birdie and off-riding and riding my electric bike. And uh, so what ended up happening is uh, I told my wife, why don't you just take her? You know, why do, why do I have to always do that? I know she requested for me. But, uh, so instead, so instead, I, uh, I just told her, why don't you take her? My oldest is, uh, has a doctor's appointment to get some shots. And so uh, I said, just take take everybody and uh, go go uh, go to Baskin Robbins or uh, a place called the Treehouse for uh, tapioca smoothie tapioca and get me a mango smoothie. So I'm gonna ride all the way until like maybe 3:30. Uh, I think it's about one o'clock right now. So I got about two hours to uh, enjoy myself here. Two and a half hours, maybe. I was originally gonna leave. I was originally going to leave around uh, 12 because the daylight savings time or whatever, we're actually losing one hour of daylight here. Or the clock's been pushed forward or the clock's been pushed back, but it's really an hour ahead of time. So we got less daytime, I guess. So I have to be back by four to uh, get my smoothie <laughs> because it's gonna melt if she comes home and I'm not there. All right, right hand turn. So this may not be a very long video, writing video. I'll make frequent stops and large gaps of time. That's because I'm out enjoying myself. I didn't bring any water or anything. I had I drank some water before I left. I did eat before I, I left too. So that way, uh, that way I have energy and when I come home, I'll be just in time for uh, that smoothie and possibly uh, dinner coming up. Oh, there's a deep wind right there. Or it could be a short. Anyways. I'm gonna go to the new uh, to the new uh, secret place. I'm gonna go to the new secret place, the little the new 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 shortcut. That's where I'm gonna be going. So I finally got to leave. Uh, oh, and the reason why. I tried to leave at 12 because I knew it's really like 1 o'clock and the daylight is kind of different. But I forgot to charge one of my batteries so I had to, I had to wait another hour before I could, uh, you know, go. Because, you know, I like doing the multi-cam here, 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 there, I don't know, 360, whatever, all the way around, whatever it is. That's just how I like to roll. Oh. Oh, thank you for yielding, since you have the yielding sign, sir. FedEx truck tried to run me over. Jeez. All right. Oh, uh, no, I took a wrong turn. Crap, or did I? No, I did not take a wrong turn. Um. I'm in the right place. 
Yeah, they fenced this off. Yeah, I see the fencing. They fenced that off. But there's another nature area where, where they don't fence it off, which doesn't make sense, you know. What's the point of fencing this place, this lake off, if you don't fence, fence off the lake? Or the, uh, whatever, the nature area where any animal can get through, but it doesn't matter. As long as I can get through, that's what's, that's what's, That's what matters, right? Ugh. All right, where was those tracks I saw last time? Wow, it's really grown out here. Remember, the, the tracks were right here. Man, it's grown over. Anyways, uh, that's why I wear the boots, because of the tall grass. Yeah, the tracks were literally, they were right here. <laughs> Now they're overgrown. So, one of the other reasons why I wear the boots. Looks like they got the pumps over there. The pumps are over there. I'm gonna check this area out first. Uh, let me lower my gear. I'm gonna be going up this uh, levee, pump up my pedal assist. Gotta be quiet. Oh, some birds are right here and I scared them off. Okay, okay. I gotta be quiet. Gotta be quiet. I see birds. I see birds. I'm gonna be very quiet. I might even start walking my bike. I see some egrets and maybe some storks. I gotta start uh, being really quiet too now. This is one of my areas. This is the... Uh, the water pump over here and uh, an overflow area if you will on the other side is the uh, levee and on the left side is the retention pond oftentimes I'll see people actually swim on on the levee side here okay I'm gonna bust out my binoculars. I have a, there's a stork or an egret right over there. What else? Do I see anything else out here? Uh, no, but I'll just hang out here anyway. Ugh. So yeah, this is one of the uh, levee pump stations and the water starts overfilling here. They need to pump it out to the levee. I guess this is where it goes or vice versa if they need to let the levee in through here. And uh, over there, they're, they're labeled as gator pumps. I think they're just there for storage for now. Probably expecting uh, a rain to come through during the winter. Egret's still there. Good. Now I gotta check the time. Okay. I think I'll end this video here. Sorry if it's short, but I'm gonna try to enjoy my time here. I only got like literally maybe a week or two left of this, I would say, perfect weather for me. And then it's gonna get cold, which then I, I'm gonna be wearing a different outfit. Maybe still doing the same things, but the problem is the birds, the animals, they kind of go away-ish. You don't see them as readily as right now, especially when they're migrating south. Anyways. Anyways, see y'all next time. Bye.